I'm going to show you a quick power tip for archiving a lot of emails at once. Uh, right now I have 1,300 emails in my inbox. Uh, those are displayed 50 at a time. And if I want to archive a lot of them, I have to click, click archive and do that a lot of times in order to get to the bottom of my inbox. I'm going to show you a quick tip. Watch the whole video first before you try this. Don't do it at the same time because you got to understand how it works. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the, um, not the checkbox for select all. I'm going to click the arrow and I'm going to say select all. And then I'm going to see this message that will allow me to select not just the first hundred, but all, in my case, 1,300 emails. Now, I've seen people do this for 50, 60,000 emails at a time. It's a very helpful bulk operation. So I select all. Now I'm going to click the archive button. That's this box here. Now, again, watch the video first before you do this. I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, we're not going to lose anything. Archiving doesn't delete them. Archiving just removes them from the inbox and puts those messages into what's called the all mail folder. Okay, so I'm going to click the box. Now, this can take a little bit of time. Um, especially, you know, 1300 is not too bad, but if you have, you know, 10,000 or more, this is going to take potentially up to 10, 15 minutes. So now you'll notice I have absolutely nothing in my inbox that will freak everybody out. <laughs> I understand. So my inbox is totally empty. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to perform an advanced search to pull back emails from the last few days or weeks that I have not yet addressed, responded to, possibly even read. So I'm going to do an advanced search, click up here, and I'm going to leave everything blank except for the date range. And this is up to you. I would recommend, you know, don't go any farther back than a month. I'm going to say uh, two weeks. So show me all email that I've received within two weeks, and you have to pick today's date two weeks of today, click search. That's going to find all of my recent emails, 177. Now I'm going to do the same thing again, select all, not just the all on this page, but all conversations that match. And then I'm going to click this box or this button here, which is move to inbox. So essentially I'm pulling these 170 some emails back into my inbox. Now I am going to have to go through here and archive one at a time any message that I've already read um, that I don't need to deal with. But at least, you know, I only have 177 to do that uh, with rather than 1,700, 1,300, which is what I had originally. So again, we'll recap the steps. Step number one, select all of your messages and archive them. Let it sit for a few minutes. It can take some time. Step number two do a advanced search for a specific period of time. You know, go back one, two, three, or even a month back in time. And once you've done that search, select all the messages and then press the move to inbox button. Now I want to make you aware of one potential issue that may crop up. If you have a very, very large number of emails, 10,000 or more, the search may not work initially because you've moved so many emails it does take google a little bit of time to re-index them so that the search is effective once again so if you do a search and you see an error message don't freak out i've done this with hundreds of people no one has ever lost any messages give it a few minutes the more emails you have the longer it may take within a couple of hours Everything should be back to normal. You can search and move things uh, as you would. Archiving is a great tool to clean out old emails, to start fresh so that the emails that are important to you are at the top of the list.